Hey there everybody, today I have the LumTech Combat Field X1, and the X1 refers to the X1 Super Luminova that is being used on this model. There's going to be two different variations. You're going to get the bead blasted version that you see here. There is also a titanium carbide PVD version. Now that version is uh, going to hold up a little better in terms of case marks, case scratches, things like that. Um, it's more of like kind of like a hard coating. It's going to protect it a little better. You're not going to get it scratched or damaged as much. So if you're actually out in the field, if you're actually out camping, hiking, any kind of you know things like that, or you're just hard on your watches or you don't like to see a lot of scratches, you're probably going to go with that one. Um, I'll show you some close-ups on this. You are going to see a little couple of marks and uh, not really scratches, just rub marks so far uh, from my time wearing it. Your price on these is $8.95 from the LumTech website. Your specs are as follows, 44 millimeter case, 50 millimeter lug to lug, 22 millimeter lug width, about 14 and a half millimeters thick, and that's including this very pronounced boxed crystal, uh, which again, I will show you here shortly. You of course have a sapphire crystal and SW200 automatic movement. That is a Salita SW200 automatic movement. So with all you're getting, you're, you're, you're getting a lot here for your $8.95 price tag. For anybody that is watching this video that is not familiar with LumTech watches as of right now, um, these are uh, you know manufactured overseas, but they are assembled and tested in Ohio in their shop. Um, LumTech is somewhat still of a small company. They do a lot of things, but they have you know they have a few employees, but they're not this massive corporation. They are assembling and testing these things here in the U.S. Uh, so there's a lot goes into it. The price is always going to be a little bit higher because of that. But usually the quality, um, you know, does uh, at least live up to that price tag. And uh, honestly, I would say this is no different. This is, I'd have to say, absolutely one of my favorite, most favorite Loom Techs that I have reviewed or come across in quite a long time. Now, I'm not saying that I don't like, I think anybody that's ever watched any of my videos, I generally uh, like Loom Tech watches a lot. This one, I just happen to like more than most. I, I think the biggest thing for me about it is, um, you know, this style of field watch, this trench style watch has never exactly been my favorite, only because a lot of times when I see them, just a little too classic looking, a little too traditional looking of a look for me personally. And then what LumTech has gone and done here has modernized this look, if you will. Um, it, it just, whether it's the, the coating on it, just the way they've done this outside uh, bezel area, whatever the case may be, it's definitely modernized looking, um, and that dial probably adds to it as well with those big pronounced markers and hands. And take a look here at that massive box crystal that you got going on here. If you're a crystal junkie, you are going to love this. And as you can see, even though this has that massive box crystal, you really don't get a lot of distortion. You're going to see a purplish blue AR coating on there as well. And you just, even when you look at it right here, you're not getting a lot of distortion like you can get with some of those Superdome crystals on a lot of uh, dive watches. There is that pumpkin style crown. Let's see if we can get this to focus here. It is signed with the LT logo as well. I'm going to give you better close-up shots of this here in a second with a little uh, B-roll footage, if you will. Now, one thing I just want to point out real quick, this strap does not come with this watch. And uh, I'll talk about that here more in a minute. This is a Helm canvas strap if you'd like to purchase those. It does come on this NATO, and this uh, brown NATO comes in the package as well. Let me go ahead. We'll give you um, a uh, closer look here at the uh, LumTech Combat Field. I'll give you the wrist shot and, of course, the Loom shot. All right, here is a look on my 7.5 inch wrist. As you can see, I still have this uh, canvas strap on it. Now, if you want to see what it looks like on one of the NATO straps, go to watchreport.com for my full article and more thoughts and comments. And I have a lot of pictures on there from the standard straps. But to be honest with you, I've been wearing it on the canvas more than anything, really, but just because I don't like those style of straps.
Here's a look at the loom and I still got one light on. And then of course you can see the Loom Tech logo is loomed as well. Let me go ahead here, we'll shut that light off. And there's what your loom looks like in complete darkness. Of course, it is insane loom. Um, for anybody that's ever had a Loom Tech, you know that they always go out with the loom, hence the name. As I said, this is really one of my favorite Loom Tech models in the past couple of years, and that's not to say that I really don't like uh, any of the models uh, the past few years. This one just happens to tick a lot of boxes for me. And the thing is, is for me personally, this is kind of a deviation of a watch um, that I normally uh, normally gravitate to or normally grab to wear. Um, I've really been enjoying this. Now, again, I've been wearing it on this canvas strap. These wire lugs are tradi not traditional wire lugs. There is just a regular 22 millimeter uh, spring pin in there and uh, you know pop it out just like you do any other watch that takes spring pins and you could put whatever kind of strap that you have on it then that, then that brings me to it's an $895 watch and there is definitely a lot going on with this watch in terms of design in terms of quality um, nothing about this watch feels cheap and for me personally it doesn't feel overpriced my only thing is you're giving two of these NATO straps and by the way both of them um, from somebody that doesn't really care for the style of strap um, both of these are of pretty good quality I have no issues with what I've seen with the quality of these straps I wish maybe it just offered one of those straps though and then a regular uh, you know, two-piece strap uh, from some of the Loom Tech collection that you could see on their website. That's for me personally. Other might, people might love the fact that it comes on these straps. Um, I originally put this on here because um, somebody on Instagram had asked or said, hey, we, I want to see this on a regular strap. And from the second I put it on, I uh, really started gravitating towards this watch more, and I just left it on here. Obviously, like I said, you could put any strap on it that you want. Uh, let me go ahead here and uh, show you that pumpkin style crown. As I said, this is an SW200 movement. So you're getting, um, you know, a lot of watches, if you're uh, familiar with Loom Tech at this particular point, use the Miyota 9015. Um, and that has been, you know, um, a go-to standard for a lot of micro brands, and you know, these days, um, lower, you know, end micro brands uh, or lower priced, I should say, will use the NH35. It's nice to see the SW200 here. As I said, it's assembled and tested and regulated in their shop at Ohio, so you really shouldn't have any issues. And if you do, you know, a quick email to Loom Tech, and one of them will take care of you very shortly. You know. Um, if I was to bottom line it, uh, bottom lining this is real easy. I love it. I really do love everything about it. My only tiny little gripe is I wish it came with a canvas strap like I have on it, but this canvas strap cost about $28, so uh, easy fix there. If you want to see more, go to the description below. Take you over to watchreport.com. Uh, excuse me, I'll have a full article on this. Getting tongue-tied there. I don't know. I'm all excited and everything, you know, as I'm doing this video. <laughs> but uh, I'll have a full article on this and a lot of pictures as well. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. If you're not subscribed to our channel, we'd appreciate it. Go ahead and click that notification bell twice. That way you'll always be notified when we upload another video or review. Leave a like or a comment here down below. Give us that thumbs up. Hey, if you didn't like the video, I guess go ahead and give us a thumbs down. That's your right. You can do that. This has been a look at the LoomTech Combat Field X1. This has been Don Evans for WatchReport.com, and I hope to see everybody on the next video.